So, sup guys, Eddie right here. I hope you guys are well. Well, I just made a pool on my Telegram asking for you guys which pair I should show to you guys every single trade that was possible to take on the past week. And you guys just voted for gold. So, XAI, USD. So, that's exactly what we'll be doing today. Basically, I will be here with you guys trying to backtest uh, and show to you guys every single possible trade using my strategy, the strategy I use to trade. Um, that was possible to, you know, make money. Sometimes we lose money also, of course, it's part of the, the trading world. So take profit, stop loss, and break even trades. At all, we will just doing a huge trade breakdown. So I am on weekly time frame right now, as you guys can see. I will just stop on this week, and we can start straight away, right? So uh, I have some, some, some advice for you guys, you know, before we actually start, because as you guys probably already know, I don't trade like other smart money. Let me actually adjust this camera a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I don't trade simple, let's say in a simple way like other smart money traders. I trade a little bit more complicated way, right? But um, the foundations are the same, but you know, we have some little difference that on extremes, it makes a lot of, actually a lot of difference, right? I make a little different here, but this little different applied thousand times we could see a huge difference on the results on a normal smart money concept trader or in a or on my case right a smart money trader that use um little difference on his strategy right so yeah without taking too much more of your time let's actually start so we start the week on the day 23 of may i don't know if, sorry the 18 of may actually 23 here is the um, uh, um 2023 right it's the year so 23 of May we started, uh, I can't see, I can just start from here, I need to actually go a little bit back to Asia session, right? So we will start from Asia session on one minute time frame, or even better actually, let's just go, let it run. So we can actually, I can actually just go there and show to you guys the trades, you know, the trade that was possible to take, uh, take profit, stop loss, everything, right? So, yeah. Um, I could actually go to the daily time frame and just go day by day, right? So this is the 18. But anyway, yeah, just let's just continue from the uh, from yeah from here. So okay, right here, as you guys can see, we are able to see. <laughs> So yeah, right here, as you can see, we are able right now to uh, start to look for entries, right? So a core thing of daily cycle, right? A basic thing when we are trading daily cycle is, okay, when you have daily cycle forming, you need to pay attention to the Asia. So if the top of Asia session got swept, you start to look for entries, for sell entries. So we can see here that this actually played very well because this blue box is the Asia session. We swept the high, so it could actually start to look for entries. And then we made this retracement. Unfortunately, we didn't swap the low, but anyway, we can definitely start to look for entries for sell entries when we stepped uh, the top of Asia session right here. Other thing that is important to know also, and I think I already said you guys this, is um, when you have a lot of liquidity creation 15 minute time frame, it's important also to pay attention to it. So in this scenario, I can see clear uh, liquidity creation from here, right? From this low to let's say this high. So if at any moment price swept the low, I would actually start to look for entries on this point of interest exactly right here, right? For a buy entry opportunity. So we have a lot of things happening, but let's go from, let's go right now to this level right here. So we can actually start to search for sell entries after price swept the Asia low. So yeah, replay mode, let's come to here and let's go to one minute time frame. <laughs> So yeah, clearly here, we, c we can see clearly actually the ASA high, right? So it's very clear for everybody. Exactly right here we have the ASA high. And we after we swept the ASA high, we can start to look for sell entries. In this scenario, we need to follow structure very, very, very carefully because, you know, we can just miss a trade because we are not following structure. So here we have a low, another low, right? Let me actually put, use, use those, those dots. So it will be more easy. Low, 
hai hai lo lo yang hai hai lo lo and hai hai lo here uh, we have a shift of market structure already so uh, lo and hai hai lo liquidity creation we made this shift of market structure right here but price never respected because you guys can see clearly actually press what, what price did is feel let me zoom in right so you guys will be able even to see better to feel this fed value gap here and then push up so we actually had the shift of market structure happened here and after that we could actually start to look for um and because we swept the top of Asia, right? The top of Asia says it right here, so we swept the top. Now you guys can see clearly that price actually made a structure, a stru structural point, right? So we have this um, high and low here. So low and high was made here, and this high and low. Then low and high, right? So here we already had a shift of market structure that is aligned to the daily cycle. So this shift of market structure is aligned with daily cycle. It means that we can just take our first trade we can start to look for our first entry after this shift of market structure it's clear for us also that right here we have a, a fair value gap zone right i could actually use this grid it's like a fibonacci tool but grid tool to to mark it so it will be easy, even more easy to you guys to see that is it's actually a fair value gap and why i mark this as a high this as a low it's just the way i read the structure Every single lesson I have to say that because every time I have a comment, this is not the low, this is not the high, the high is someplace else, but um, this is the way I destructure. If you read it in another way, no problem. That's just the way I read destruction, right? And I'm, I think on my channel, I already have videos where you explain how to read the way I read it. But if you don't, didn't see this video, I think I will record another video even longer with more details, you know, more rich in details, explaining how I read destruction. So you guys can be able to learn how i read structure the way i read it right okay so yeah after the shift of market structure right here <clears throat> we have some liquidity creation also this liquidity here it's very interesting actually because this liquidity was generated between the interaction of um the buyers and sellers when price reached the demand level so think it on the way like thinking think about this liquidity on this way right let me just give you the, the rational part of this liquidity creation. So price was moving up, right? Price made this low and start to move up. Then it retreated, tap on this low, tap on this demand level. Buyers try to keep their strength, show that they are, you know, confident on the price and start to buy again to make price make a new, right here we have a high and low, right? So we have a low, high and low, low and high, sorry. And I actually just... Yeah, I'm just confused. Sorry. We have this bottom, we have this top, and we made another low here. Another top, bottom here. Doesn't matter. So price was trying to, to make, you know, to break structure here and made a new high right here. But uh, buyer wasn't able to show enough trends. They didn't have enough money to be, when I see trends on the Forex market or any market, it's money, right? To buy and make a new high. So seller showed to them that, okay, you guys are not so confident anymore in the price. You guys are exhausted. So you will take control from here. And that's exactly what happened here. So when this liquidity was created, it's not because they created a trap. It's just because they didn't have enough strength to push one, to push the price, and sellers took control of the market. Exactly right here, we have this, let's say, fight showing to us that actually um, sellers won. And we have the shift of market structure, that is the characterization or the, the personification, not personification, sorry, that's not the, the right word, but it's the the, the uh, signal to us, the CD entry confirmation that, okay, sellers are on the control of the market. And with that, we can see the shift of market structure. It's very clear for us. And after that, that was the first trade of the week. Clearly right here, stop loss above this high and targeting at least one to five. I don't know if it was possible, but one to five would be like here. So yeah. Price range it a lot on these levels, but I think it ended up rating the take profit level, right? So yeah, New York session open it, 100% probably we hit take profit, yeah. So here you guys can see one to five basically what. So in this scenario, let's say I just took the first trade of the day. How, why, uh, uh, what, what can trigger me to start to look for entries, for example? Because I just took a short position. 
So we'll try to keep shorting because at some point pricing will reverse, right? So I just showed to you guys that we have this low. So if the DA is a low got swept, I can start to look for entries, right? The is a low right here. If it got swept, I can start to look for entries. But I also showed to you guys that on 15 minute time frame, we have some interesting uh, things for my view. So all this liquidity was formed. So I could also start to look for entries when price reduced to this level. So actually I can firstly uh, um, refine this level because if price retreats to it at some point, I want to, to look for entries, okay? So here, it's, it's clear to us that we have uh, a demand level and imbalance. I will just mark it with this ray. So I'll mark right here imbalance. So I will, I will know, you know, if price retreated, I know the imbalance start here so I can start to look for entries. So in this scenario, the only thing that can make me take another entry is Remember, we are, we still, we are right now on day, on day 19 of May, right? So one day. Um, the only thing that can me make, take another entry is if price swept is high. So my take profit level was it, was, was reached. So price retreats and swept is high. So I can start to look for another entry. If price swept is low, the, the Asia low right here, I would look for another entry. And if price tap on this level right here, I will look for another entry. And if price make a 50 minute time frame chalk, I can also start to look for entries. Okay. So those are the, those, those scenarios, if they play out, I will start, I'll start to look for another entries. So here, what actually happened? Let's go to 50 minute time frame and let's see what happened. If we set this low, this low or this high. So, okay. You guys can see clearly here that actually price stop is high. So now let me make it run a little bit more. Yeah. So after so price strip is high, I can start to look for entries. Okay. So let's go to one minute time frame and let's see if I can find any entry. Again, we need to follow structure. So in this scenario, we have. Yeah, that's basically what's happening here. So price actually respected this demand level. So I can't see any shift on market structure or nothing like this. So I can take and trade. And actually all this move is inside this one minute time frame structure. So all these moves right here, believe you or not, it's just internal structure. Till the next day when this Asia session started again, okay, now I can start to look for entries again. But on this, during the, mo the moment price was between on this, price was just in general range of one minute structure, I wouldn't search for any entry at all. Let's just let the price run a little bit more. Let's wait in New York session. Okay. Long loss session, sorry, long loss session just started. And we can see here that um, Asia session finished exactly right here. Let's go to one minute time frame because it looked like we swept the bottom of Asia, but I'm not sure about it. So let's go to one minute time frame so we can see closer. Yeah, here we just can see clearly that actually the bottom of Asia was swept already. So the liquidity that was created on this low got swept exactly right here. Right, so we have some little consolidation build up, right? And then price up the low, catch the liquidity, and look how beautiful it's moving. Unfortunately, I can't see any entry trigger confirmation here. So the daily cycle played well, very well, but I can't see any confirmation. So if I can't see confirmation, why would I take the trade? Let's just wait to see if something better can happen during uh, the, the, the market opening, the, 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 the London session. Actually, I just, I just saw okay, again that we actually set the high also. You guys can see here, this high was able to cross this um, blue, blue, blue uh, line, blue dots, dot line actually. So it means that we actually set the high also. So if you set the high of Asia, again, we actually look at it at the top. So I can start to look for sell entry, the same thing that we, that we used to take the, to take the, the previous uh, trade. In this scenario right here, I can see clearly a trade that is a stop loss trade, right? So here I can see clearly after we set this, this, the high, I can see this chalk right here. So this chalk will be 100% a entry trigger confirmation for me. So if I have this entry trigger right here, so in this scenario, right? I have this chalk, I have a entry trigger confirmation, I will take the trade. Let's say I place my entry here. I will place my take profit, my sorry, my stop loss level above this high. The question will be, I will place it like this or give it more space to breathe? I don't know, but I will count this as a stop loss trade, okay? Uh, just to make sure you guys sit 
also that the strategy can you can take stop loss trade. It's nothing. It's not hundred percent uh, strike rate assertivity, right? It's just just totally normal uh, to take some stop loss also. <clears throat> Then I can see also that, okay, my trade, my trade was a stop loss trade, but I was actually right about, um, the whole idea behind it. So my stop loss that triggered, but the trade, the, the price of the re, the price actually fall. So I was wrong or I was right. I was actually right. Cause my whole idea was that the price would fall, the price actually fall, but unfortunately, um, my stop loss got triggered. So I can actually still look for sell entries. In this scenario, I can see also that when my plus, my, my stop loss got triggered, we actually made a high, we made a low here following structure. Uh, the previous structure was between this high and this low, right? But we have a chalk here, so doesn't matter. So we made this high, low, high, low, um, high, low, low and high. <laughs> I just don't, don't get it, you know? So top bottom, top, another bottom. So we made this new top right here. So right here, actually what happened it was a shift on market structure. So the first entry was a stop loss, but I can take the second one that at least will still run until now. We have this level gap right here to validate my entry also. So I could easily take this trade, place my stop loss above this high, make it even actually, yeah, something like this, taking advantage of this huge green candle right here. Or even I can actually select the, 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 the order block itself and it will trigger also, right? So searching for one to five risk reward, again, same thing. One to three, one to four, one to five. I don't know if it hit or take profit, but I think it will. Cause you know, with this huge move to the upside that happened exactly right here, I'm expecting price to retrace very hard. And actually I'm not even expecting price to respect this low at some level, but Let's just see what happens. Let's go to 15 minute time frame. Cause again, when we are looking for those type of entries, uh, how to tell you guys, okay, in this scenario, I took the trade cause we set the, the low and then we set the high of Asia. But looking to 15 minute time frame, if price swept this high, I can look for entries also. Cause this is the 50 time frame structure, right? The 50 time frame structure right now, um, we have this high right here. We have this low. So we made a shift of market structure exactly right here. So low high and we are inside this huge 50 minute time frame structure that's why i also told you guys if price retreats to this level here we may find some entries but in this scenario i don't think so but anyway if price retreats we can actually start to look for entries i don't think so because we build so much liquidity inside that i think price will actually just fall you know anyway let's see what happened on, on with this move okay our take profit will be smashed now which scenario can, 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 can I take advantage to take another trade? So I just saw that actually price, uh, swept the, the bottom of Asia and I didn't found any entry confirmation. This happened exactly right here. As I showed to you guys, I already saw that price swept the top. So I searched for entry and my entry trigger was, uh, my entry. I saw the, the my first entry was a stop loss. The second one was a take profit entry. Now. For take another trade, I need to see all prices sweeping this high, the 50 minute time frame high. That is also a one minute time frame high. Or <clears throat> if price also swept this low right here. Why? Because it's right now the previous low of um Frankfurt session, right? So in this scenario, I can take trade. If we swept this high again and maybe swept this one also. So this low, I can start to look for buy entries. But if I try to look for buy entries after we sub this low and I got stop loss on the first entry, I will wait. You know why? I, I won't, you know, try to take another entry entry. The same thing I did here. If I get a stop loss here, I, I took the first entry was a stop loss and I look for the second one and it was a take profit. In this scenario, if we swap this low, I won't do it because we have all this liquidity here. So price can continue fall very hard. So it doesn't. It doesn't make sense actually to continue looking for entries, okay? Because overall, price need to re retrace. It still need to retrace to actually feel all the internal range liquidity. So yeah, um, in this scenario, let's see what happens actually. If we swap this low, swap the previous uh, London high or this 50 minute time frame high. Let's see what happens. Okay, 
we swept this low. If we swept this low, as I told you guys, I will start to look for entry, but I will just try take to I will just try to take one entry, not two, three entry. You know, again, why this? Because this huge structure that is inside huge um how can I say that this huge liquidity that is inside can make price go even lower to catch up the liquidity and maybe tap on this level. Okay, so let's go to one minute time frame. Let's see if we have any trigger confirmation. So no, at least not yet. Let's just let price move a little bit more. Um, yeah, unfortunately we couldn't find anything. So price start to go. We actually have some some internal break of structure, but price will need to retreat way more to actually give me a, a possibility to take the trade without a huge stop loss, you know. So yeah, let's price just let price just just run. So in this scenario. I then took the entry, so New York session started. We we keep moving, so we set the low. So after we set this low, I can actually start to look for another entry. Why? Because I didn't took the first one, okay? At the same time, I can't see any trigger confirmation, so I will just wait. Let it run. If we sweep the low, swept the low, I, I can start to look for entries again. Let's go to 15 minute time frame so we don't spend a lot of time here, okay? What happened? So 15 minute time frame actually swept the 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 New York high and then dropped very fast. In this scenario, I don't I don't take trades in this scenario, so I will just wait, you know. Let's see what happens. So new is a session started here. So okay, let's see the session start. One thing, look, look how beautiful price is moving actually to catch. All the liquidity that is inside the range, you know, you guys, a lot of, a lot of, I, I'm, I'm damn sure a lot of smart money trader or the other block trader, they started to look for entries here and they just got swept because they think this huge move validate this as a order block. If not, this will probably be a liquidity creation. Plus, we just swept it because they know a lot of you guys are trying to take trades right here, so they will stop you all. Hundred percent, they will stop you all. You are thinking like, okay, this news, news started here, price. Push up so fast when you reach it to the respect. No, bro, we jump this swap you again. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's see when. Okay, we swap the low right here. It's obvious to us that we swap the low of Asia. Uh, I want everybody that is watching the video till now because we are on 20 minutes of video already to drop like and subscribe. You know, it's very important to me. If you can also uh, comment forex trading, just Type of forex trading in the comment section. It helped me a lot with the engagement and the reach of my content. Okay, so do it for me. Far. Okay, um, please. So do it and let's continue right here. Let's go to one minute time frame and start to look for entry. So when we set the low, at this time we don't need even to mark this zone anymore because we didn't have any trigger confirmation here. But we set this low. Actually, it wasn't the first swept on the ASA low because if you guys pay attention to here. It actually happened before. So here we have a entry. Yeah, we have a entry right here. Why? Because after we set the low here, we have a chalk. If this chalk actually the chalk happened, sorry guys, the chalk happened exactly here, not even there. Chalk is here. Yeah, it's here. I know it's difficult to understand, but wait, wait, wait. Let me zoom in even better. No, no, we don't have a chalk here. Because this week that went above the max value invalidated. So we need to actually the fuck is happening with my eye so we need to actually go back and yeah the chalk is here so if the chalk is here we need to mark it and uh let's say just i would wait for entry at some level right here right so it can be a take profit level it can be a take profit trade it can be a stop loss trade i don't know we don't know right Let's just go to 15 minute time frame so we don't spend too much time trying to make the bars come and go, you know? Okay, it will be a stop loss. So that will be the second stop loss in, we started on day 19, 19, we are already in 22, okay? 19, 20, 19, oh, 19, it was on Friday. It was in the, from the previous week. So we just started actually. 22 so yeah and it doesn't matter anyway so we are right now with two stop loss and two take profit so with each 
stop loss we we lost one percent and with each sorry with each um take profit we made five percent so five plus five is ten minus two eight so eight percent right so right here minus eight let's continue to see if we have anything interesting so hss was created okay we now set the high of um we set the high right now of hss right we tried to take the entry when we set the low and you guys can see that that was actually very interesting uh because <laughs> price stopping us made this use retracement retreated again respect to some demand level here i will zoom in so we can actually be able to to understand what happened here and they start to go bullish so probably we have a beautiful entry right here with this demand level but it wouldn't be inside of my trading plan so i wouldn't take it 100 percent i wouldn't you know so yeah and then we set the high okay so if you set the high we probably have some entry right here also so let me just try to show you guys what happened here let me just try to to see what happened here actually and show to you guys also and then we can come to this level and see if we have any entry so one little time frame again let's scroll okay so after our chalk didn't work what actually happened is this shift of market structure right here so we break structure here we made a shift right here price retreat said we could take the end to end it, it would be a take profit level but it's not inside of my trading plan and at the same time we have another chalk that happened here and then price retreat said we could take the entry and you know usually move to the upside it's just not inside my my trading plan so i wouldn't i would i won't even count it you know as a possible trade then we swept the ASA high okay this candle this huge weekend right here was able to set the ASA high so the low was here and we made this shift of market structure unfortunately after the shift of market structure we can't see any entry actually because price just start to drop so what we can actually wait to see is all price can retreat to this level and give to us another interior confirmation or it can retreat, don't respect this level, come above, give to us our integral confirmation so we can catch it and then price can drop. So that's exactly what I was waiting for. Let's go to 50 time frame so we don't make, don't waste too much time. Let's see what happens. So price swept the high. After price swept the high. Oh, whoa, 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 what I did? What I did? I just moved it from, from the day we were to some day else. We were at some level here, right? or even here, I don't remember more. Some level here, 100% it was at some level here. So let's come to here again. So yeah, as I told you guys, we set the high right here. So I can start to look for entries, okay? <clears throat> so after we set the high, uh, that this of this uh, point of interest, area of interest, whatever you want to call it, uh, actually, we have this chalk here. I know it's kind of tricky to understand what I consider chalk. Probably if you are new to this lesson, to those lessons here on my YouTube channel. But just believe me, it has a huge um, uh, um, explanation behind it. But anyway, this is what is chalk for me. In this scenario, I can see clearly we can we could actually, you know, this week is already chalk. So with this doji retracement, we could actually take the trail at some level here, place our stop loss above this high and try to make one to five risky reward it wouldn't be one to five so one to five would be at some level here so it will be clearly a break-even trade because if your trade run it till three risky reward and you didn't place it at break even you don't place any other trade at break even so you deserve actually the, the the stop loss if you if your trade was at three percent that you didn't place at break even you didn't uh, slide your stop loss to the break even you deserve the stop loss so yeah, one to five would be here, so that would be clearly a break-even trade. After that, we can actually start to look for entries again. So we made this high, we made this low, price start to go up. So we move up a little bit, then what happened? Okay, 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 okay. I can see here that we have a stop loss trade. As you guys can see here, because we made this low, uh, the high was right here. We made another low here, we made this high. We made this shift or market structure so i think i would actually try to execute this trade exactly right here so right now we are with two stop loss and now right now we are with three stop loss and two take profit and one break even so yeah seven percent on the week 
so yeah let's go to 15 minute time frame and let's just let the thing run to see what happens so doesn't doesn't matter guys uh, i think you guys need to understand also that all these moves we still behind these uh, we still inside this low and this high the 15 minute time frame previous low was here the, the high was here the low is here we made this shift or market structure all the everything that is happening inside is inside this range right here so everything here is just inside 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 range movement inside range structure right so yeah i will actually mark it again low and high so yeah um let's just continue and see what happens if we okay new asia session movie uh so is a is a session still move okay we strapped the law of asia right as you guys can see clearly here let's just come right now and start to see if we can actually find a entry any entries so right here we have this move to the ups to the downside let me check the sound i don't know if it's still recording for some reason okay it apparently still recording that's great <clears throat> so low high right here another break of structure what happened here shift of market structure so clearly we have the entry trigger here that we could actually take advantage of it and you know just surface so this low we could actually take the entry here start to take one to five risk reward trade one to five exactly right here so with this one to five we are we are we was on seven percent up so now plus five how much is it 7 plus 7 would be 14, so uh, 13, right? I think that's that's the math, I don't remember, 13, 12, yeah, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so yeah, 12% uh, on the week, nothing better at all. Actually, it would be a very decent trading week, to be fair. So yeah, uh, something like this, 5%, that's enough, let's just see if we can see any other movement to take the trade. So I, I took the tray and I hitched my take profit level when we set the low. Now I need some scenarios to approach the market again and try to make more money. The first one is price retreats, come down, set this low so I can start to look for entries again so price can retreat to take this high. Or price can do the following movement. Price can actually still going up, set the high. If price set the high, I will look for entries and I will try to short, okay? So let's go to one minute time frame and let's see what happened. I actually should should stay on 15 minutes because it will be more, way more easy. So what happens actually? So price trap the high. Okay, price trap the high as well as right here. Price trap the high of Asia. And at the same time, if you guys pay attention, pay attention very closely because this trade is a trade I actually caught this week on gold. I, I did one entire video explaining this, this trade step by step and I will link it on the first link on description. By the way, if you check the description, check also for our mentorship and course, the link is in the description also. If you want to learn this strategy step by step with me, entry triggers, learn market structure, and actually have a decent uh, strategy, something that you can actually trust on it to make money. Doesn't matter if you are trading your personal funds or prop film challenge. If you, if you want to take a prop film challenge and become a founder trader, Man, this is just a honey pot for it, okay? So I did a whole video explaining this trade because I hold it till 1 to 50 risk reward, actually. But in this scenario, I will actually just show to you guys uh, the 1 to 5 risk reward that would, would be possible to take, okay? So the main thing here is when I'm trading, even smart money concept, I like to trade the following, I like to trade on the following way. So we have Asia session. If we set the low, I will look for entry. If we set the high, I will look for entries also, right? At the same time, if I'm following structure, as you guys saw since the beginning of this lesson, and the following things can happen. So when we are moving on structure, price made the impulse and it retreats. It bounce back. Impulse, bounce back, pullback, right? What we call pullback. So you can see clearly a pattern happening. So every time price go up, it pull back. So price go up, it do a pull back. So what most part of smart money concepts do? Smart money concepts, supply and demand, other block traders do. 
they like to take the trade when price pull back to the demand level. I do this also. No problem at all. But at the same time, I like to trade trade to take trades when price breaks structure so I can catch this pull back to the downside. So that's exactly what happened here. So right now, we made this break of structure. So what I will try to do, of course, it's aligned also with daily cycle of price, with the Asia sessions thing, because it's clearly for you guys right here, because we have the Asia session, we set the low, so I can look for entries. So we, we swept the high net, I can still look for entry also, right? So yeah, what I will do right now, I will look for entry exactly right here, because we swept the Asia high, and also we swept the, the, the 50 minute time frame high, so we made a break of structure. Let's go to one minute time frame, because I remember exactly where I took the trade, it actually already happened. But when I took the trade, my main idea was, okay, we stopped the days are high, right? What actually started to happening right here? We we can see clearly a consolidation on this zone. I don't know why this consolidation started to happening, uh, but of course, I'm not a dumb guy. So I 100% think it's liquidity creation to sponsor the move. Or I can say just consolidation, right? But in my point of view, it's liquidity creation to sponsor the move. Because price start to consolidate exactly at this level. Why it would start to consolidate exactly at this level? Don't make any sense. It should actually, you know, accelerate even more, be more aggressive. And how you guys can see, it's actually very easy to understand that, look, after they are done with the consolidation, look this huge candle that just swept all the all the um, uh, um, stop loss of everybody that was trying to take the trade and place their stop loss on those high. Price just swept very fast on one minute time frame candle, grab it. All the, the, the stop loss, a stop loss gap, very easy to see. And then price retreated so fast also. So we can see clearly here a shift on market structure. With this shift on market structure, I had everything I needed to take the trade. You guys can see clearly here, as I told you guys at the beginning also, I don't care if it's weak or the body closure. The weak is already enough for me. So the trade I took was this trade right here, right? That was the, the trade I took. Beautiful trade, by the way. So let's say one to five risk reward, okay? So one to five view. You guys, you've seen that this trend was like one to 50. I told you guys, but um, I already recorded a video show to you guys every single step of this trade. So I won't be here, you know, trying to explain everything again. So yeah, you guys can see here what happened. So in this scenario, we was at 12% uh, plus five. So 17%, right? Right now, I can take the trade again because we set this low. So if we set this low, I can look for entries again. So let's see if we can find another entry. So price is very, very bearish. Okay, price still bearish. But at some level, maybe we have an entry that was a stop loss, right? So we need to go and check just to show to you guys. So after we set the low, uh, we set the low exactly here. That was the low, the previous London low. So we have this entry right here that would be a stop loss. Right here, we have the shift of market structure and we we should actually try to take the entry here and it will be a clear stop loss trade, okay? So 17 minus one, 16%, okay? Let's just move. You guys actually should pay me for this lesson to be fair, right? And I'm, I'm basically giving you guys almost uh, every, okay, I'm not going into details, but I'm giving you guys the, the trade system for free. That's basically the, the thing, you know. So, yeah. But let, let's just continue. Okay. So, we swept the low. Uh, let's see what happens. We're still on Asia. So, now, okay. Another Asia session started. So, daily cycle of the trade again. Okay. I, actually, I said we're still on Asia, but it was New York session. Asia started now. Mmm. Mmm. So, okay, we swept the top of Asia session. If we swept the top of Asia session, exactly right here, that was the first sweep on liquidity of Asia. So we can start to look for entries and then price swept again. So we may have another entry here. I know that we have, we had another entry here because when I was doing the huge one to 50 trade breakdown, I took the, I showed you guys this entry right here. I mean, I took it, but I, I saw it. So let's go to 15 minute to one minute time frame and let me try to see if we have entries. First, uh, we swept the Asia here. Those blue dots show to me the, the top of Asia, right? How you guys can see. So actually we have a entry exactly right here. 
that will be the first range of the day. Depending on your way of trading, we can say it will be a, a it's hundred percent is a break even trade because as we can see here, it was a two risk reward, a two percent risk reward trade already. A two, so you are you your trade would be up two percent if you was risking one percent the trade. So it doesn't make sense to put, don't push your stop loss to break even. It just doesn't make sense. You should do it. If you didn't, that's your problem, right? But I won't count it. This has a stop loss. I will count it actually had a, a break even trade. Then we step this high again and we we still very bullish. So we made this high, we made this low, high, low, and high. Actually, right here we have a, a, a chalk. So if this chalk, we could actually take this trade right here. Stop loss above this high. And I think it's very easy to see that it will be one to five risk reward trade or it will be a break even trade. Yeah, break even trade because price retreated very fast. So with this retracement, I can say to you guys, yeah, probably. I, I If you take your entry a little bit above, but I would place it here so it don't make sense actually to adjust it. it. I would be shitting and I don't want to do that. So yeah. So that was the trades of uh, the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe. Watch the 1 to 50 risk reward trade breakdown. And I'll see you guys in the next video here on my YouTube channel. Right? See you guys very soon. Take care. Bye.